Welcome to Unbox Burrito. So Play Vital, which is a company that makes Nintendo Switch accessories, sent me some stuff to review. So let's start off over here and see what this is. It looks like it's a Switch case cover. This is supposed to represent a Nintendo Entertainment System, the classic NES. So this looks like it goes on the back of the Switch. Here's a little NES cartridge. This is kind of cute. It's to just get a six month warranty. So here are little red rubber pads. These might be what the little stickers are for. Then over here we have two gray NES Joy-Con holders. And then here we have two Joy-Con face plates to make it look more like an NES controller, I guess. Now what's this in the middle? I'm not sure what this is, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys are. Oh boy, this is not pulling out nicely at all. <laughs> L for Luigi, R for Rorio. Let's open up this book and see what this is. Okay, so this seems to be a rubber grip pad to put on Xbox and PlayStation controllers. And then last but not least, we have gray thumb grips to put on the Joy-Cons to match the gray of the NES. Cool. So let's see how easy it is to put all this on. So I do have a hard screen protector on here. Let's see if it's compatible. So you can see all of the holes line up. The plastic is pretty flexible. I'm just gonna flex it. There we go. Fits pretty snug. So the plastic is just flexible enough to flex around the system. You get this nice little gray trim on the back. We have this little NES decal here and you still have a hole for the kickstand. It's still very easy to open up the game cart. Has the hole for the air vent and intake down here. So far looks good. Okay, so I believe this is for the left Joy-Con. That actually fits very smooth and nice. It's a little bit difficult to push this button, but uh, if you use your nail, you can actually the bumpers are still easy to access and I believe this cover should snap on top. There's a little like ridge here. Oh yeah, you can see right here the ridges have to line up. You could kind of just bend it slightly to just get... And there, it actually snipes it really nicely into place. And then the cover literally snaps very simple. So I must say, so far I am impressed with the build quality and accuracy. It is like so flush and so precisely cut. It just fits perfectly. So now we can slide the Joy-Cons on. That actually looks pretty nice now. Totally changes your Switch. So I no longer have a Fortnite Switch here. I have a Nintendo NES Switch. It will require getting used to this because the Joy-Cons are slightly thicker now. It does not feel bad at all though. Your thumbs kind of have to be more precisely on the buttons when you press them. It does require a little bit more effort to hit the minus and plus buttons. It's one extra, so you have eight pads to replace the arrow keys and ABXY keys over here. So I do not want to actually permanently stick these rubber pads on because I actually prefer the buttons the way they look without the red rubber pads. But I have my switch here just laying flat with the rubber pads just sitting on top so you could kind of, kind of see what it would look like with the red pads on there. What I don't like about them is that they hide the arrows and the lettering on the, the buttons. But if you like the more plain red look, it is an option for you. These red pads raise the buttons up so that the buttons stick out above the shell and that does make it easier to hit these buttons. So I don't really mind, but if you have trouble to hit the buttons 
with the face plate on, then you could put these little red rubber pads to give it a little bit more depth. But I believe the Joy-Cons look nicer without those red rubber pads. Okay, and next thing to do, I'm going to barbarically rip open this plastic box. So it comes in a pack of four. So my little trick to putting these things on is I kind of flip them backwards like that. And then I sit it on top of the joystick and just let it fold itself back down around the joystick, which did not work. Just push down a little bit more and it should cover itself around the joystick. And it is actually a very nice fit. It is very tight and snug. There is no give. I don't see this rubber grip pad slipping off of the joystick in any way. I'm gonna tell you right now, feeling it on this right side here makes it feel a lot nicer. So once again, putting it on the left Joy-Con. Trust me, doing it this way is a lot easier. Just like push down as you let it go. And it just kind of hugs the joystick. And there, and there we have it. They both feel very good. They both feel very nice. I really like it. And one more time, gonna put on these red rubber pads. So this is what the full setup looks like. Rubber joysticks and casings and the red button covers. So I actually think that this is a really good quality and very nice case. It is very precisely made and it fits around the console and Joy-Cons perfectly. Gonna have to dump these pads out. And the plastic is a like hard but matte finish smooth plastic. So it feels very nice. And now another test is, does all of this fit in the dock? And there's a little tight squeeze at the bottom. But yes, it does fit. And it just has a slightly tighter and more snug fit. It fixes all of the loose rattling problems you have. So the switch is actually very nice and secure. Oh my god. Can't believe I'm attempting this. Do not try this at home, but it is secure enough to hold the switch upside down in the dock. I'm pretty sure if you shake it a little bit, then it'll slide out. But yeah, so it still fits. So I must say it actually gave my Switch a total transformation. I'm used to seeing a very brightly colored Fortnite Switch here, but now I have a more boring gray old school Nintendo NES console. But I'm old school and I really like it. It makes your Switch look new and fresh and I'll be using it until I get bored of it. So just having a little play test here. Oh my God, what is chasing me? Bro, got killed by a raptor. I don't think that the extra height that the faceplate adds does any harm to your efficiency of pressing the buttons. I can still hit the buttons. It just feels different, that is all. Now, if you're interested in getting this exact case or any of the other styles they have, they do have a lot, or anything else from Play Vital or from Gaming Cobra, I do have a bunch of links including affiliate links that will help support my channel in the description if you do want to pick up one of these for yourself. I did see there is an SNES version that I would like to get as well, but I kind of like this boring old school grey tone for when I like to have a more toned down chill gaming session.